What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of World of Warships Legends and I am sailing my ever so favorite tier 4 cruiser, the Konigsberg. Uh, now I'm going to be the first to admit, I'm not the best cruiser player. And that was apparent especially at tier 4 where I just couldn't really get the hang of any of the cruisers. Uh, I struggled with the Kirov. I struggled with the Omaha, and I kind of made the Furutaka work. But the Konigsberg and I got along pretty well. Um, it's actually probably the only Tier 4 cruiser I thoroughly enjoyed playing through. And all two of you that watch my videos probably know that the Konigsberg and I are practically best friends at this point. Now it's not an amazing overpowered tier 4 cruiser, but it's certainly able to hold its own. But that's more so because of the guns. It's not good because of the armor. The armor's... I mean, it's not bad, it's just not particularly good. It's not as tanky as the Furutaka, and it's not as crunchy and chewy as the Emerald. It's a nice solid middle ground, which is, in my opinion, a common theme for German cruisers and destroyers. They don't really excel at one thing, but they don't really suck at one thing either. Except for German Hydro. That's definitely a thing. Uh, but the Konigsberg and I, nonetheless, uh, got along quite well. So, if you ever see me have a good game in a cruiser, just know that it's all thanks to the Konigsberg. So speaking of the Emerald, we have a rather brave Emerald, uh, sailing into Capture Point Alpha, attempting to capture it. He sees a Tier 4 cruiser and a Tier 4 battleship catching him in a crossfire and he thinks oh shit time to disengage he takes a nasty chunk of health from the battleship down the center he's going to smoke up soon and can I get the citadel nope but I can reset him all right so soon he's going to smoke up and I'm going to pop my hydro because uh, yep there's the smoke <laughs> and there's the citadel Oh, Emerald, you should know better than to show broadside, silly. Silly goose. So we pop the Hydro, and we detect this torpedoes almost as soon as they come out the tube. Um, because he was well within our sonar range. But we're going to keep pushing the smoke. And we're going to keep pushing the smoke because we want to keep pressure on him. And more importantly, we want to make sure that he doesn't try and get back in the cap. And I say get back in the cap because he has left the cap. There he is. And... Yeah. <laughs> Triple Citadel. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so the Emerald Grind was not fun. <laughs> and that's why... <laughs> Oh, uh, you know better than this show, Broadside, silly goose. <laughs> uh, but like I was saying, we knew he wasn't in the capture point, even though we couldn't see him. Because we were actually capping the base. And if he was inside the base, inside the smoke screen, it would still be contested. So we're taking some high explosive damage and some fires from what I believe was the enemy Karlsruhe. Yeah, there he is. Okay, so we wait till we get behind the island because I'm not sure if the Furutaka... Wait, hold on. Did you guys see that? Was that a tier 3 cruiser? No, it couldn't have been. Wait, hold on. That is a tier 3 cruiser. Well, screw the Karlsruhe, we're gonna pop our, uh, we're gonna pop our spotter plane, our fighter plane, excuse me. 
and we're going to use that to see if we can A, detect the phoenix, and B, detect any torpedoes that he might have coming our way. So I'm waiting to clear the island because I want to get all the guns shooting at him, and I think that was my mistake. If I had just gone ahead and let the first gun go without waiting for the second and third rear turrets, I may have been able to catch him off guard. But I did get a citadel, so I'm not going to complain. And it looks like he wants another citadel because he's turning to give the starboard broadside of his ship, even though I just citadeled him for a fourth of his health. So the second time we don't get a citadel, but I mean we get some pretty decent damage. So this right here is one of the Königsberg's uh, calling cards. It's really good at kiting, but it's also really good at contesting. When I say that, I mean the ever so reliable German Hydro does allow it to contest caps, but it also excels at kiting because two out of its three turrets are in the rear. And because the firing angles aren't as terrible as they are on the Nuremberg, you don't have to show as much broadside as you would to get all of the guns facing the target. Going back to what I said earlier, Konigsberg, good ship because of its guns and its sonar, but mostly the guns, but kind of the sonar, but mostly the guns. They have a really good muzzle velocity of, I believe, 810 meters per second, so they fire relatively flat and don't require a lot of lead. Also, as you could see, when I was going up against the Emerald, they do rotate 360 degrees, not like most other cruisers and battleships. So if I'm engaging a target off the port side, at 30 degrees, instead of swinging the- oh, come on! <laughs> I should have killed him right there! Don't do that to me! And I- come on, Lord Gaming, he would give me the Citadel when he has two health left. Get out of here. Don't do this to me. <laughs> but if you are engaging a target off the port side at 30 degrees, instead of having to swing the guns all the way around 330 degrees the guns will rotate through the middle of the ship 30 degrees and suddenly you are facing a target off the starboard side of your ship which also helps it to contest capture points like I was showing you earlier so it's good at kiting but it's good at contesting as well what it's not good at is starting fucking fires now, I don't have the best luck with fires. Um, I can get the first fire, they immediately put it out, and right when I think I've got them, because they put out the first fire and I think I can get a permanent fire, or a double permanent fire, or a triple permanent fire, suddenly the game goes, nope, and I don't get another fire until the rest of the month. So, you know... Yeah, that's why I don't particularly... A, enjoy spamming high explosive, even though I did just get a fire right there. Um, and B, that's why I don't really go for fire starter builds, because I just personally don't have enough luck with them. And there goes my torpedo tube. I'm just gonna let that be. I'm not going to damage control it or anything, because there's nothing even within range for me to torpedo. So that would be a, a waste of a damage control. And, you know, high explosive spamming battleship over there, the last thing I need is for him to set me on fire twice, um, while my damage control is on cooldown. So, yeah, and, yep, there he goes, torpedo tube again, but I'm just gonna let that be, as I keep spamming him with high explosive, and I think this is probably the best fire match I've had in the Codingsburg. Four fires, I mean, that's... That's six more than I usually get. <laughs> um, so, here I make a mistake. Um, I am slowing down. 
uh, because I'm realizing that A, he actually knows how to hit targets at range, and B, I'm running out of space. Um, sooner or later, I'm going to either A, hit the island, or B, be forced to turn in port, so that way I don't actually hit the island. What I should have done, and which is probably going to be the decision that cost me my life, is I should have stopped shooting, gone undetected, and then turned to starboard and sailed back towards A. Because, I mean, look at Capture Point Charlie. There is there's a lot more ships than I'd like to be facing over there. Um, so Capture Point Alpha would be the safer choice. Although, it's a 1v6 and I have 2,000 health left. I really don't think I'm in the position to be making tactical decisions right now. Um, at this point, I'm kind of just like, fuck it. Just send me back to port so I can enjoy my sauerkraut and my wiener schnitzel and watch my Bundesliga. Uh, and I'm going to get my wish. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get it in the way I had hoped. I was hoping I could at least get torpedoes off and hit the Kaiser and at least take him out before the enemies from Capture Points Charlie started shooting at me, but oh, hey Furutaka. Hey, Ishizuki. How are you guys doing? Aww. Hey, a fire. Neat. And that's the end of that. So even after that, I'm not really mad. 87,000 damage, 2 kills, 1 base captured, 7 citadels, top of the leaderboard. Even after that demoralizing loss, the Konigsberg and I are still best buds. But I got my wish. I was sent back to port so I can eat my sauerkraut and my Wiener Schnitzel and watch my Bundesliga. So if you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will catch you next time. Peace.